Hi guys. <laughs> so this is a fucking shit show. I just nearly killed a bitch. See, my therapist also lives near me. I always wonder if I randomly bumped into her in like a shop from here, would it be awkward? You've got the personality though. Are you saying that I'm ugly? What are you fucking saying? <laughs> White party, so that's just a period stain waiting to happen. Hello guys. Oh shit, I'm about to get one over. I, sorry, I had to look away. I didn't want you to know that I'm vlogging. I'm going to take you on a day in my life. And, and, this, is, and this is quite an exciting one because I've got a friend coming to stay. <laughs> um, it's her birthday. She's having a three day shenanigan, which is illegal. I would never let anyone else for her to do that. She basically, I've never had a guest before at my house, so I need to make sure that her house is ready for guests because currently my house is just absolutely grim. Like, we don't even have any nice towels. Everyone was like, oh, she can use this towel. This towel's white and there's a brown stain on it. No one knows what the stain is, but all I know is that I can't let her use that. I don't want her to think that I've gone to all this effort. I want her to think that this is just naturally how I am in my house, even though my house is normally a pigsty. So, first up, we're going to Primark to get some towels. And I also bought some flowers for Lidl because that looks like you put together. And I'm also going to get her birthday for It's her birthday. Okay, I've made it into Primark. I always think, basically, my therapist also lives near me. I always wonder if I randomly bumped into her in like a shop from here, would it be awkward? Like being like, hi. I'd be like, you're right. Or she'd be like, you're right. I'd be like, well, actually, I'm like, hang on, no, I can't actually go into the detail right now. I've got to an age where these just look impractical. Like, what could you wear that under without it just sticking out? I also feel like this would be so itchy. What was the inspo behind the person that made this? Like, what were they looking at when they were like, yeah, that's that's perfect. Putting yourself in public is just so embarrassing. I hope people think that I'm actually like a mega superstar. That's less embarrassing than not being a mega superstar and filming yourself. Hello, babe. I'm getting your towels for you. It's 11 pounds. That's how much I love you. You better appreciate this when you've got a nice non stainy towel. Why? Party. So that's just a period stain waiting to happen. These aren't going to stay well, are they? I'm going to have to go for a different colour. For fuck's sake. I thought, oh, I'll get my friend a little balloon. That would be sweet. This is an absolute mega boot. I'm going to blow away. This is really embarrassing. I'm going to lie to you. Let's make a balloon. Look at this scenario, right? This is me walking down the high street. Look how big this fucking balloon is. I literally, everyone's like, boom, boom, boom. Me and mega birthday vibes balloon need to get in the house, but just the thought... I can't get onto this last hurdle. The thought of carrying that is too much. I need to admit something that's quite bad. I just nearly killed a pigeon. I didn't want to. I mean, I didn't luckily actually kill it, but it was close. And I thought, oh my God, I nearly killed a pigeon. I didn't kill it. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. That pigeon got another day in the car park. I'm starving, right? So I thought I'd show you my go-to lunch. It's very basic, okay? I've got like the the palette or whatever it's called of a literal child so i only like things basically anything that you feed like a 10 year old i'd be on board with and this at the moment i am absolutely this meal has got me in a chokehold for no good reason at all actually I, I mean i don't imagine that any of you are looking to me for lunch tips anyway so i think we could be all right don't judge me okay because it makes me happy so basically all i do is i get some spaghetti hoops i just shove it on some toast and i add some cheese bobs your uncle fannies you fucking up delightful ready in three minutes the the, the hoops from lidl cost 16p do you fucking believe that so yeah i'm gonna go and eat this and then i need to get on with this tidying but i just oh, i just fucking hate tidying i hate cleaning I like putting the washing on and that's it. I don't like doing any of the other tasks. So I just really need to motivate myself to get on with, to just shut up and get on with it. Not to mention, I do add a bit of pepper. So, you know, it's not, it's got a little bit of spice. I can't imagine that any of you want to watch me eat this. So maybe I'll report back when I'm finished. Okay, the evening is nigh. I have, my friend better appreciate this. Oh my God, look at that. I've been putting in some serious guava. I still haven't mentally recovered from, mentally recovered from scrubbing the bottom of the um, toilet seat. That job to me is just hell. Considering that's like my designated toilet that I think my boyfriend throws up in when he goes on a night out because I've got metaphobia, so I don't need to see it. He always tries to sneak downstairs, but I think there were still remnants. So I'm still mentally recovering from that, doing a few deep breaths. Otherwise, I've tidied it downstairs. I've done the kitchen, I've done the bathroom. Now I need to tidy the room that my friend is staying in. And you think, oh, you're just tidying. That can't be a big job. This is saying otherwise. So... Should I try? I'm going, let's do a transition. Okay, ready? Why is this like I'm filming it on a literal potato? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Morning, guys. No. Yeah. 
And tonight is day one of her birthday celebrations. And we're going to see Frank Ocean in orchestra or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Also, I'm going to show you what I made the room she's staying in look like. Because I was really sweet. And she didn't appreciate it at all. What she was it? She was a bit. She got in there. She was like, what is this? She wasn't. And then, she, like, came, this the best thing and then she came this morning. She was like, that bed's really uncomfy. But <laughs> it did say she is, she's just a bit nasty, so it's kind of like expected that she'd be saying those kind of things. Right, Ellen's asked me not to get her face in because she hasn't washed it yet, so I'm just going to keep it a mystery. So I've cropped it a little bit. Basically, this is my spare room, which I don't think I've ever shown before. And it's I made it really tidy for Ello, and then she just made it like a bomb site. so <laughs> fuck her. Um, but this is the corner. So here, I've got, how sweet is this? Rory's friend made this for me. He got this to me to celebrate me getting one of my jobs. Like, because I just got a new job. But he didn't know that actually I was then going to go on to get seven new jobs that year. So I only got one gift for the initial job. Then I put some tulips in this vase. It was from Primark, £3.50. I got that. And I thought that'd be nice. Some candles. Um, and then, look how look how organised I am. So I made this little drawer of things for Ello. So I got her a bottle of water that I stole from a hotel. I got her three tampons. These I just got in there because they fit in the space nicely. Because she did say what am I going to do with cotton wool buds, but whatever. A silk, or like a satiny pillowcase, and then some makeup wipes, not that she uses makeup wipes, and a face mask. Isn't that... I am I just didn't know lovely. I face mask. I could have used that last night. Yeah, you could have. I didn't tell them on purpose, because it means that I get to keep it for myself, but I just thought the gesture was there. It was more so I could tell you guys that I was doing that, that I put that in there. Um, but anyway, I need to record some videos. Ello needs to do some work. So... Yeah, I'm not going to give you a full tour because I'll give you a little thing. You can see up here, actually. So up here, got a nice picture of me and Rory. I hate this lamp. This lamp is horrid, but I just need to sell it or get rid of it. But I just, I'm too lazy, so I just put it up. Just I've put this here just so it haunts me. So eventually I'm like, okay, we'll get rid of that. And then I really like this corner. This feels very like I've got an aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? So these are fake tulips. How good are these? I've got these from TK Maxx. Um, this vase from TK Maxx was like £10. And I think the rest of this... Oh, this was TK Maxx. These were like £5. And then these people got me as a moving in present, I'm pretty sure. And then I got this big balloon, the B-Day vibes. God, I'm just so nice, aren't I? Hi, guys. The day's moved on. Um, we're going to the gym. Look how nice Ello's leggings are. I was saying, Ello just looks like a TikTok shop. Like, she just looks like she's got all the bits that you'd, you know, girls are like, in your 2023 gym collection, you need this. Me. Like, that's need me. She's got the leggings, gym shop leggings, Nike socks, the white trainers. She's got the water bottle with ABAs or something in. What is it? Ackers. ACAAs. Yeah, wherever the fuck that is. It's she's got the little claw, out, she's got the little claw clip. She's got 20 pounds. 20 pounds. She's Isn't that? Ridiculous. Oh, and the slick back barn. Greasy. Yeah, but it is looking, it's working though. It's back there. Whereas I, I'm wearing my bus seat jumper and my eBay coat. You've got the personality though, babe. So what have you got, babe? What are you fucking saying? Are you saying that I'm ugly? Because I never said that. <laughs> also, we should be peacocking. I am. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I see your boyfriend. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get one in here, but no. you give it a good go. I'm going to give it a good go. Yeah. Okay, goodbye, bro. Okay, right, we're in the gym. We're warming up. I don't think you're allowed to film in here, so I can actually be very quiet. I'm like doing an incline walk, if anyone cares. I'm doing an incline walk, and then we're going to do some serious timber. And I was trying to shag the man that works here, and it was really obvious. We were sat in his office, I was trying to give it a free membership. And she's just it's like staring at him, like dribbling. He was dribbling at me. Yeah, he was staring at her as well. There was a, a lot of tension, and there's just me sat there looking like a fucking Afghan hound. Anyway, got to go by. And I wanted to recite a very short haiku for you. Um, spring on the lemon chicken. <laughs> That's actually how it's written, like a poem. <laughs> spring well, on. How does that make you feel? The lemon chicken. It makes me feel like... Whenever I get a meal, this is the one time that I wish I still let me because there are so many good options here. And then for me, I've got either a shitty little falafel wrap, which no one wants, or I've got... Also, we did go to the gym. Oh, no, I already told you it. That looks nice, that. Does it? Vegan... I bet it's got some kind of... Oh, vegan bacon. Okay. This actually could be quite good, but it's definitely going to either clog me up or give me the shits. 
we were just having a discussion, right? I was saying to Ella, basically, Ella needs to build up her self-esteem. Because I said, what would you rate yourself out of 10? She said a six, yeah. which just one categorically isn't true, but... Everyone's in the comment now being like, it's just definitely a six. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Five. Yeah, they're, 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 actually, that was generous. <laughs> Do you explain what we were just saying? Yeah, so Holly was like, when did you last think you looked excellent? No, when did you think you were best looking in your yeah. whole like life? And I said probably when I was about 19. But I'm also aware that that is just like society's view of women looking like children. Because I just look like a child. So. Yeah, and it's really weird because you look back in the picture like, oh my God, I look so good then. But you're like, but I, again, yeah, I was literally a child. It's really hard to let it go. Cause yeah, I know. We're kind of pre <laughs> we're told that we're, that's when we're most attractive. So. Yeah. It's like, well, what am I supposed to do? Hate myself for the rest of my life. Teen good years. It's all done the toilet. And that mine was wasted on those shit boyfriends as yeah. well. Like the people I was trying to impress at that age would did not deserve it. I think I actually had bigger tits then as well, which is weird. <laughs> Everything else went out apart oh. from them. They got smaller. So if anyone's got any ideas on how we work on that, I mean, I do think to an extent I've wrote that because I think I'm more confident now. So I think I'm a bit more interesting. Yeah. So I think such a actually, shy. yeah. Weirdo, yeah, you were. Timid. And I think cause someone might someone might want to shag me more when I was that age, but I think someone would probably want to date me more at this age. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. But I don't think I was offering much to the conversation then. I, I had this comment the other, like months ago, and they said that my mouth is like I'm constantly chewing tobacco because I've got so many teeth. And now when I talk, I really notice it. And I'm like, oh, it's such a shame that, that comment is like, because I'm a bit wonky. No, not. But I actually think, anyway, my arm's hurting. I just did arm day. Yeah. I'm just doing another rep right now, holding this up. Yeah. So we're well, going to... She lifted big weights. She's, she's, did. A big, she's a big time girl. Yeah, that's me. We're going to go and make lunch now. And then we're going to get ready for Frank Ocean. And that's that. Rolling. <laughs> Rolling, babe. <laughs> Hi, guys. So this is a fucking shit show, obviously. Your skin looks great. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting distracted by being told that I look great. Back to me. So basically, these tickets, we're going to Frank Ocean for Ello's birthday, but we can't fucking get there, babe, because we've been in the car now for how long? Two hours, yeah, over two hours. Oh, I could, we could have flown to fucking Spain yeah. and we're still not anywhere near. So we're gonna miss the concert. So it's actually really tragic. We've just been, oh sorry, I'm about to run this people over. Um, so we've it's just- actually there. Is it? Yeah, but I don't think we can cross the road. Oh. No, basically, oh fuck, I'm about to the box. Um, <laughs> We've realised that we're basically by the time we get there, the concert's going to be over. So we've just tragically been listening to Frank Ocean in the car to feel like we're at the concert. So if you're having a shit day, trust me, babe, we're having a shit one. Also, I'm literally about to piss myself. And for anyone that knows me well, they know that's not an empty threat. I will piss, and I will piss anywhere. But I've got light jeans on, so I can't really do it right now. Do so that. right now, you know, mood mood in camp is low. But we're hopeful that the concert will only have started at half seven, so we'll only have missed ten minutes. What do you think, guys? Do you think that's likely or not? How do you feel about this situation, Ella? Um, I feel fine. Okay, well, okay. good for you, babe. No, I, um, I think it's going to be okay. I'm just, you know, it just pays to be hopeful in, the, in this life. You're literally so right, babe. Live, laugh, yeah. okay, live, laugh, live. Love. What was that? Were you like, <laughs> yeah. Live, love. Alright guys, we made it in and it actually hasn't started yet. So we're not as booked as the first door. But then we got to the front of the queue after being in the car for two hours. Ello was like, I don't even have my ID. I was like, we're gonna have to fucking go home then. But luckily, they let everyone to just know my arm though, so I shouldn't need to carry it. Luckily we got in, my got my But now we can't find our friend, we've got no signal, so we're just gonna stand still and hope for the best. Also, this is very embarrassing. Everyone here is quite cool and I'm vlogging, so I think I'm gonna have to go a bit. I'll show you the show. Okay, bye now. Oh, I've got a bogey in my nose. <laughs> oh, fuck.
Tell I'm from the 